Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we're back with Timberborn, and last time we left off, we did a little bit of work over here, kind of moved around some factory stuff. Uh, we gave up on the Great Wall for now, because we realized that this is probably our best option for getting metal as we slowly drain this entire area of water. And yeah, so we're just going to keep working on that. We're going to get the villagers a little bit more settled. We still have injured beavers and things like that. We don't have any unemployed beavers, so that's good. And we don't have anybody really out of a job. So we're just going to speed up time. And we're going to let our guys go to work. Uh, all these can, yeah, that's going to lack materials till the rest of eternity. We already know what we want over here, though. And actually, I was thinking about kind of expanding it. So let's see how much it would be to expand this if we went even further. So, oh god, okay. We're gonna, one, two, uh, four, I forget, how many, how many are between one, every three, so one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. There we go. And then we just have to line the rest up, really. There we go. And then again, we just keep lining it up. Let's keep an eye. We got plenty of food, plenty of water right now, so I'm not too worried about resources. Again, this is a later project down the road. However, I would like to get the the what what it actually is kind of laid out. That way as we get resources and more commodities going on we can kind of figure it out so until then we're just gonna is that is that the right height i can't ever tell with these things that should be the right height so now we just have to i really wish there was just a copy and paste tool oh god hit the wrong button sometimes i wonder if those arrows actually mean anything i don't know so it's like five up. Yeah, something like that. Sure, whatever. And while we finish this out, I do want to apologize. Uh, I know it's been a few days, we'll say weeks, since my last video. Uh, I had a pretty annoying, oh god, I put that in the wrong place, god dang it. I had a pretty annoying cold I was dealing with, and um, kind of just took a physical and mental health break. Like I said before, I would rather, I'd rather record when I'm kind of in a good mood. I don't want y'all to have bad energy, things like that. So my apologies for the delay between videos. I do want to thank everybody who stuck around. I know I'm a little inconsistent right now between work and everything else I got going on in my personal life. And this kind of took a back burner thing, and I'm trying to correct that, yeah, get my time management skills back, but anybody who's ever been in the military knows that your time management doesn't matter because you're going to do what they tell you to do when they want it done, so yeah, it is what it is. You'd think after almost nine years I would have figured that out by now. Joke's on me, I haven't. Anyway, let's get the last of these dirt mounds built up. I feel like a freaking termite. Oh, I built one a little bit too high. So we're going to go back and delete some of these. How do I... Can I... Oh, here we go. Delete building. There we go. Delete you. Uh, I believe there was one in here somewhere. And then I think I laid another one down right here. Yep. Okay. And then we're just going to go to our platforms, get our metal ones. And we're just going to blonk, blonk. Blonk diddy blonk de blonk de blonk de blonk. Let's see how much more space this is going to add to our kingdom of beavers, our beaverdom. It is a little annoying that these can only be set on dirt, but now that we can add dirt, my thought was that we could make our own city and maintain the water storage. Essentially, directly beneath it. Yeah, that, that looks much better now. And we've taken up almost the entirety of that center platform. 
that'll be our primary district eventually. Um, as time goes on, we continue to flood out back here. We do have our spatter dock and now our cattail seeds. Cattail, yeah. Yeah, spatter dock over here, cattail. Uh, our water pumps doing what they do best. Just pumping some water away. Uh, that only needs one log. Let me high priority him because I don't like how that water... I'm not sure if it's actually leaking or if it's... Is it coming over the spillway right here? I don't know. I don't know, nor do I remember. But there we go. Somebody's going to finish that up anyway. So now we don't have that little leak right there. And that gives us a little bit of space to work with for aquatic farming, at least until uh, we get this stuff over here built. Which, do I have anything else actually being built that's a priority? All of this requires metal, so I don't really care. So all of my materials realistically should just be going to these upper levels of the dam. You just need some logs. Okay, that's not too bad. We have a little bit... Oh, your pause. Do I have any... I have four vacancies and jobs right now. So I did figure something out. I figured out that you could prioritize workplaces. So um, these are low-priority workplaces. Like I do love having research as much as the next guy. However... Um, that being said, I would rather these be vacant than water pumps, farms. See, my farms are set as high priority. I think I did that by accident. Uh, water pumps are always going to be like mid priority just because food and water are always going to be our high priorities. Builders, while necessary, are not the one-stop shop for everything we do. And we have enough population to just maintain right now, which is perfect. Running a little low on logs. I think our we may need to figure out where we want to... Ooh, how do we want to do this? Hmm. Do I not... I thought birch grew up really fast. Did I just cut them down really quickly? I do. I, I do have two log cutters, so that's... I think one of these would probably be best if I just only had one log cutter. And what, what's planted here? Maples. We'll plant some maples back down. Plant a maple down in his place. I just, I think one woodcutter. Uh, you plant. Uh, where's our gatherer? I forget. Oh god. How do I gather things? Oh, it's been so long. Where's the... Oh, I see the blueberry option. That's cool. Um, that's not what I want, though. Speaking of blueberries, actually. How's our blueberries over here? Didn't I plant blueberries over here? Yes, I did. Okay. And he should just auto... Okay, yeah. It's not like wood cutting. He should just automatically gather everything that's in here, which is chestnuts, mainly. Chestnuts will be gathered over there. We've got wood storage here. If you put another building right here, I don't really know what we'd put here. A warehouse, maybe? Warehouse with maybe another road up and over. Ooh. So if we did a road up and over right here, I wonder if that would expand our network. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. The thoughts are thoughtening. Not sure. What is that? Oh, that's just a leftover carrot. Interesting. It's on cycle 12, day 10, and we still don't have the next flood warning, which is nice. Um, however, we are going to need to start working on other forms of power. Just so we can always have these guys running. And I think I can just get rid of this log pile, to be honest. Uh, these logs can just get transported downstream <clears throat> to this log pile. It's kind of shitty, but uh, it is what it is. We have haulers for a reason. 
We have a lot of haulers, so there's no reason. We also have a lot of builders, so there's no reason that they shouldn't be able to do what they got to do. And up here, I would like to start work on something else. Power, power, power. Now, unfortunately, these require paper, which I do have a... Mm, I do have paper. 1,400 signs. So we're going to do this. And these, I know, we're going to put a path up here. And we're just going to see how much that extended my range. Okay, so let's see how far this path will actually go. If I did that. All the way to the edge over there. So it's going a decent ways. Let's just... Okay, so it stops right here, which means our furthest point is right here. So if we did this, and then we went into power, and we said built some, some of these guys, they can't be right next to each other for whatever reason, just because they'll, well, we know why, they'll uh, end up impacting. So let's delete, oh god. So y'all get to have all the fun stuff right now while I figure this stuff out during the wet season. Power, power, power. Let's get another one of these guys. Why can't I put you there? I can put you there. Power connection's blocked there, though. However, how close? Okay, that first one is done. I can put another one here. Another one here. See, the goal over here is just going to be power. Because if I can do this, I can also build a staircase. And I can build these. Where are they? Power. These guys. Uh, they do require metal, though. So that's going to be a further down the road thing. Eventually, we'll get the gears set up, and they'll be able to... Eventually, they'll be able to set up a, a system that does some pretty cool stuff. Until now, or until then, <clears throat> we're just going to work on getting the actual wind farm up and going. Because right now, these guys are pretty easy to make. Those are just logs. Where does that stop? So I could delete all of this. So we're going to get rid of all that. And we should still be fine on getting all that stuff over there built. Oh, three days until the drought. Well, we're not going to finish the wind farm before then, but it'll be nice to kind of have it started and we can get it finished laying out, laying it out if my English would decide to ever work. So let's just path this way, and I will delete the old path. Yep, just like this, just like this. And we'll connect it again, because I'm stupid. Put it right there. Which will allow me to continue building these guys. So they have to be, what, two apart? Oh, that's almost perfect, actually. Because then I can just do that, that, that. That. Now, the issue is going to be right here. Because this power system is split into two currently. So what we could do... Hmm, how do we want to solve this? Ooh, this is a good one. I love puzzles. I do love a puzzle. So this one's going to be pretty easy on this side. This one's just going to require a low to high power shaft to bring it straight up. Hmm. So let's see, we're going to keep working on this right here. We'll do this, then we'll do a 
power shaft right here. Then we'll do a two. And we'll do a turn. Where's power at? Power, power, power. We'll do a turn right here. I think right here. Hmm. Maybe we should come straight off and then go up. Actually, no, it won't matter because I'm on top of stairs right here. So if I do. Hmm. This is going to be ugly until I can get some stuff sorted out, I think. Actually. Yeah, it's going to be ugly for a little bit. Nobody's building the frickin' the gears. It's kind of annoying. Oh, the gears are suddenly out of range. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. I don't like that at all. Okay. Well, we may be down one of these until I migrate a person over there to build it. Whatever. We'll just delete that one for now, actually. We don't need all of these. There. We still will have one, two, three, four, five, six, six turbines. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now the issue is going to come from this right here. I think the best option is instead of having that, we're going to demolish a bunch of stuff here. And by demolish, I mean roads. Okay, from here, we're going to do a pathway over. We will do a high to low here, a turn right here, a turn right here. Just some typical straights right here. A turn right here. Oh, did the drought already start? It did. I'm awful about that. All right, we'll see y'all at the beginning of uh, the wet season. a short wet season we are or short dry season sorry <clears throat> and we are back and uh yeah production kind of ground to a halt without our plank factory over here but uh as water starts to flow again we will see our little water wheels here start to spin and we'll get some more planks going and it'll be a good time for everybody oh we have a lot of freaking food and a lot of paper too. It's gonna to make a lot of explosives. It's gonna make clearing this area out very nice. Oh, I just can't wait to have all this area cleared out. It's gonna be so nice. This area is slowly, slowly dehydrating. Ugh, very slowly. I forgot I built this dam down here. What was I thinking? Oh well. Really, 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 really need dynamite so I can finish putting my storage things down. Because as it is, we're running out of storage. 
I'm about to have a lot of dry land, though, as soon as this is frickin' done. Build some terrace-level farms, maybe. Some aqueduct stuffs. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, this is coming along nicely. I don't really know how much cattail we have. How much cattail? We have a little bit, but we don't have a uh, granary built. And so the cattail doesn't get processed currently. However, now that water is spinning again, we should get all the planks we need to finish all of these gears and whatnots. Which means we'll get more paper and stuff again. So... That's good. Uh, we do have six, six unemployed. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's see, let's see, let's see. Inventor huts. Let's unpause that. So six inventors, a gatherer flag. So where's the gatherer flag? Where's which gatherer doesn't have a worker? I think I only have two gatherers, don't I? One over here. That's no, a wood. Where to? This gatherer. And then this one. Where? Where's my trees? There it is. Oh, that one doesn't have a job. Okay. That's fine. There's not much to gather over there anyway. Uh, just some grilled chestnuts. This one's grilled potatoes and grilled spatter dock anyway right now, so not really a big issue. This is almost done. Nice, 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 nice. Very nice, very nice indeed. The water is slowly disappearing from this area too, but uh, it'll be back soon now. Especially now that we have this almost built. Almost. A few more planks and we'll be good. Oh, we have 18 hour working days. Let's reduce that to 16. Okay, what can we build for our beavers? We've built power. More or less. Still waiting on it to finish being constructed. Metal. Can't build a mine yet because we have to get access to this one. And this one. Mm. Woodworking, we have pretty much everything. Food. We don't have a gristmill or a bakery yet. We have beehives. Now the problem with these are, again, power supply. If I had constant power, it would be one thing. But they rely on flowing water or wind. I don't think we have another form of power. Water, we have the irrigation tower, the stream gauge, and a mechanical water pump. Neither of which are useful to me right now. We have big lodging. We could build some new lodging, maybe? Maybe clean up this housing district over here a little bit? Hmm. Ooh, build their lodging into the side of the mountain. That'd be interesting. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Would be pretty interesting to see, though. And it fits four of them perfectly. And then you just come back on top with a... A normal lodge on top. Hmm. Pause it, delete all that before they start building things. Uh, that's an idea for later, maybe. Now that we have these lodges, we may do something with that later. Because we are going to eventually have to build down into this area, just to continue our growth and foundation 
So that's housing, labor. We don't have a distribution or a drop-off. That's not really important. We don't have an underground warehouse. Could get an underground warehouse. Not necessary right now, though. Landscaping. This is where it's going to get rough. We need terraforming, dirt piles, monuments, decoration, well-being. All right. Dirt excavator. So how do we get golems? Let's start looking into getting golems. Terraforming. We already know that. We already know the floodgates. Okay. Dynamite we will need, so we'll just unlock that now. We already have the explosive factory. So how do I get the golems? Here we go. Observatory. Refinery. Fuel. A biofuel. A golem parts factory. It's going to require metal, a golem assembler, and a catalyst tank. So, do the biofuels, or do they have just strictly for golems? Like, I'm, I'm kind of confused on the golem thing. So, observatory gives us knowledge. Refinery gives us food into fuel carrot plus water is five okay biofuel stores quality okay a golem part factory needs fuel to make a golem parts and a bunch of other things it's gears metal to make golems and then a golem assembler and then the catalyst tank. Storing catalyst. But what does catalyst do? Do I need catalyst? It doesn't actually look like I need catalyst. I don't know what it is. I would... I'd love to start getting those done. Oh, look at this. We almost have what we need. Hmm. Y'all are dumb. Okay, we're gonna get rid of you. Get rid of you. Because y'all built the freaking... Yep, thank you. There we go. They, they built the... Yeah. Uh, beavers aren't always known for their big brains. You small-brained thing. Oh god, where'd you go? That's right, you sit there. Okay, soon we'll have plenty of power. He's not getting any logs because all the logs are going to my other projects. How's this wall coming? Not bad, not bad, not bad. They might even finish that before the next, uh, next dry season. How's this coming along? We... So what is it, one level like every 12 days or something like that? I don't know, I have definitely don't know the math behind how water evaporates. We have plenty of food, plenty of water though. That's what really matters. In fact, this tank is constantly just full. Okay, well let's see, what else can we do? Hmm. Have they finished this just yet? Uh, it needs two logs. We're gonna high priority you. We're gonna high priority. Everything's a high priority here. Just so we get our stuff built faster. As long as we have constant continuous power, the other stuff will get built eventually. But I need power. More than I need anything else, so. Let's get the power situation going. That'll be built soon. That just needs three more logs. And then I can reconnect everything. Okay. Soon, 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 soon. We're going to do the math on this eventually. Wait till it gets here and see how many days it takes to get down there. Are we done here yet? Oh, we got that part built. Now we just need three logs. Oh, so many logs. Oh, wait. There's two. There's... I assume something. Oh, there we go. 
Okay. That is now built. So that means that now you can build this. Yes. Come on. Okay. Well, we'll get there eventually. This power will be built. Oh, wait. Speaking of which, that was one of the logs. Only one more left to go. Hmm. Was that the second one? That was the second log. Okay, now we just need a builder. But in the meantime, this part's done, so we can build what needs to go right here, which is going to be a high to low. Three days to our next drought. Oh boy. Uh, okay, so we've got that now. Now we can do this, and now we can high priority these two guys. Specifically this one, because soon we'll have more than enough power going into here and our explosive factory. We also need the smelter, though. That's the shitty part, is getting that smelter built. Come on, guys, you can do this. They built that. But now they're not going to be able to build this one, I assume? Oh my god, I hate you beavers so much sometimes. Hmm. The beavers are going to be the bane of my existence, aren't they? Come build that one already, you stupid things. That's going to get built, which at least will transfer some power. But damn it, they're being annoying. All right, there we go. Thank you. Now I can put that high to low transfer in right here. And now we get plenty of power. Uh, we do have 10 job vacant. Hey, look at that. Now we got plenty of, okay, what's the? Oh, network supply is 1500 right now. That is a lot. Oh my, I like that. We like that, though. Hey, yo, why didn't that ever get built? That's well within the building. Is it simply because this is in the way? Is, is that why you didn't get built? Okay. Well, we'll high prioritize you. So you get built now. Now, oh, this is a nightmare. I hate this. I hate all of it. I love my beavers, but they're dumb. It's probably my fault for over-prioritizing things and under-prioritizing other things. But hey, it's getting its resources now. Now we just need a builder. And now it got built, and now I can put you in and then high-prioritize you. So you get built. Now we'll get full power to the system. And the system is fully powering everything now. Yes. Yes. Except this one one thing. Soon, 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 soon. There we go. Now we have full power. Our power supply is 1,800, and our demand is... Nilch. Okay. The only other thing that log should be going to now is over here, which looks like it's almost done for the most part. I still obviously have some things, but you know. I'm not really worried too much about that, because now. Oh, the drought started. Five days. See y'all then. Actually, where are we right here? One second. Okay. Yep, see y'all in five days.
All right, guys, five days, dry season's over. We are on cycle 14, 14 droughts already. And we're almost to where we can measure this water level, which will be nice. Uh, not too much happened through that drought, same as you would expect. Power distribution went according to plan, though. We did get power through the dry season, which is nice. Uh, always love to see that. I am experimenting down here. I do think I'm going to go with those houses, but I think I want to blow the wall down one layer and then stick them into the wall a little bit more. We'll see. We'll see. I don't want to disrupt my water supply and things like that just yet. We'll see what happens here. On the other hand, I do have all this land over here that I could use, and there's a whole bunch going on. Actually, that... Can I do dirt? Oh, it can only be built on ground. Okay. I was going to say, could you build a farm on top of a house doing that? But I guess not. They thought ahead of me. Damn those bastards. Anyway, let's see. What do we... What do we, we got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more layers of water before we can start getting metal. Oof, that's a lot. There's a lot of layers. But hey, look at this. We almost have the entirety of our second aquaculture area. Which will be really nice, especially once we expand it. Uh, this entire area, I think, is just going to get expanded into aquaculture eventually. Uh, this map, I I didn't know what I was getting into when I played this map. I, I did. No, no. I haven't played all the maps yet. This is only my second playthrough. So I didn't realize how little land I would have compared to the tutorial map. But it it's proving to be a good challenge. I, I enjoy the little intricacies and the puzzles like this. And now we have two unemployed beavers. Oh, whatever will I do? He can harvest up there, yeah. I still don't know what dandelions are good for. <laughs> the last dandelion. Hmm. Oh, wait, are we at? We're not at one yet. We're almost there. Okay. I don't remember. I think Moro's the one that did the math. He said something like 12 days or something to evaporate a layer of water. Our volcano over here of water, because we we destroy the environment slowly, and slowly we will cut all this area off as we get more logs, and then this will have to get built, and we'll dump more water into here, and high prioritize that because they are about to finish this guy. The things things are kicking up a little bit. I guess I could do the whole terraforming thing, actually. Ooh, now you can terraform in conjunction with dams and stuff. Ooh, that's going to be cool. So now if I wanted to, I could just legitimately just terraform that into a giant dam and then terraform everything underneath it into usable growable crop Ooh, i like that but we got to get golems first so we're going to go down the first part of the golem tree i guess beaver only oh i don't have enough science points how much for that this is 400 that requires me this is a thousand for the observatory okay I guess we can't get an observatory just yet. So be it. Soon, though. Soon. We will have dynamite. Very, very soon. I wonder if it'd be faster if I built pumps to pump this water out, too, as it goes down. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. I do know that we are literally one damn away from finishing this area, which will be nice. Uh, and then during a wet season, we'll delete some of these walls and once we have golems, start terraforming a lot of this area up. 
Oh, yep, this is why this needs to get built. We need logs up there. We're going to dry out our freaking... We're going to dry our stuff out way too quickly. Oh, well. We don't really need it. Like I said, we don't have a grist mill yet. I guess that's something we could work on over here. It's a grist mill. We'd probably have to take the place of an inventor hut, though. And we need a bakery, too. Ooh. Oh boy. What do y'all think I should leave? Or where, what do y'all think I should build? Sorry about that. Build next. Grist mill, bakery. My food's well sorted. Like we have plenty of blueberries, plenty of grilled spatter dock and potatoes. We have plenty of potatoes. Da, 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 da. We have we have a lot of resources, not necessarily the ones we need. Mostly logs right now. Logs are our resource that we need mostly. Uh, specifically right here, so we can get this water dump going. They just seem to be obsessed with completing that guy out, though. So that uh, is what it is, I guess. I wonder if it's because the road on top is a high priority. Huh. Nope, they're, they're just going to do that. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait. Now they're, now they're going here. We got that going. Yay, these dried out and died. That's fine. Because this is about to be done. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Nope, nope. Yep, okay. Well, that'll be done tomorrow, and we will have completed our aquaculture area as soon as, you know, things happen. Construction lacks materials. Building lacks materials. What are we lacking? Logs and spatter dock. That's fine. We know where all the logs are right now. <laughs> and now there's no reason for there not to be any logs. At all. Uh, this is not a workplace priority. These are minimum workplace priorities. But now he can start dumping water in there, and as he dumps water in, they'll start replanting. Just like over here. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. There we go. Okay, we have completed the second part of our aquaculture area. This wall, uh, so many resources went into so many logs. So many logs went into that wall. It's disappointing that it didn't turn out how we wanted it. Oh well. You learn, you live and you learn. You learn and you live. Sometimes you don't live and you don't learn. Anyway, I think that is all for today. Hopefully next episode we get a little bit closer to getting this freaking... We can see the top of the ruins through the water now. Oh, it's so pretty. Soon we'll be able to have metal. And then after we have metal, we'll have TNT. And we'll be able to do some of this reconstructing that I want to do in some areas. It'll be really, really, really nice. So yeah. We're going to leave it there. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all for sticking around through these uh, harder times. And as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.